is an interesting character to me. When I first saw her in the Covention episode, I thought for sure she was the big bad. Just everything about her screams, I'm the evil one. But then she turned out to be Ida's sister. And for some reason, I thought she was actually the younger sister, but that thought probably has to do with Ida's aging issue due to the curse. But anyway, so Lilith just kind of confuses me. And maybe that's meant to be how it is because one moment she seems very competitive and wanting to get rid of Ida. And then the next she's kind and wanting to help Ida so badly with this curse. So basically she acts exactly how a sister does. I just finished the episode though, where Ida and her joined forces for a little bit. And I loved seeing them team up together. Hopefully that's a sign for what's to come. So who's next? Basha is our favorite triclops that no one actually seems to like personality wise, but also loves as far as her character design goes. And I'm not even kidding. Almost all requests that I've gotten about Basha always go, can you draw Basha? I don't actually like her, but I really like how she looks. And I agree. I'm not the biggest fan of Basha either. She seems to love being in control and bullying weaker or weirder witches. Regardless, I'm a sucker for three-eyed character designs and I had a lot of fun drawing her third eye. It's also cool to note that Basha's name seems to be a feminized version of Euronymous Bosch, who was a Dutch painter back in the late 1400s. And his artwork also seems to have been a big influence on the art design of this show. Look him up, his work's amazing. So who should I draw next from the Owl House? Emera and Edric are Amity's older twin siblings, and I knew there were trouble the minute they showed up at the library where Luce was. Even if they were sticking up for Luce against Amity in the beginning, I knew it seemed suspicious. And of course, within minutes, they're asking Luce to break into the library in the middle of the night, as one does. There's just something about twins being mischievous people. It's almost like it's a given for twins to be this way. And I knew I was going to love them. Though I will say the plot of stealing Amity's diary and posting it all around school was a little much. Luce knew doing this was taking things too far. I also wonder though if Emera and Edric's hair is naturally green or if they also dye it. I haven't seen them talk about it and they haven't had past scenes yet the way Amity has, where we see that her hair is actually actually brown. So is Edric Blight next? When I spoke about the twins before, I mentioned how I knew these two were mischievous, but I probably should have pointed out that I didn't mean all twins in real life are mischievous in this way. I kind of meant the betrayal of twins in fiction are often seen as mischievous or odd or having something mystical about them. When in reality, twins are just two regular human beings, as so many of you who actually are twins pointed out in the comments. And I do think we get glimpses of that in the show with Edric and Emera. One scene that stuck out to me is Edric and Emera's different responses for what they fear the most. Edric was probably so sure he was about to have a twin moment with Emera. As he mentioned, his greatest fear is being alone forever. To his dismay, Emera's greatest fear is being stuck with him forever, which I feel sort of begins to show that she's her own person. Or maybe she was just teasing him. Who's next? Definitely thought Ida's hair was naturally gray from birth. Not sure why. I guess it just didn't occur to me that Ida had gray hair from being old or actually from the curse. But also what a reputation she had as a heck side student with all the bewitched graffiti being put on the detention track and being the founder of the secret room of shortcut. It's crazy because teen Ida would have flourished in school in a good way if there weren't such ridiculous rules like being only able to study one track. I'm sure she'd still have been a troublemaker though. But the great thing is even with all these restrictions and rules, Ida still became such a strong and amazing witch who lives her life on her own terms. In fact, now that I think about it, maybe she became stronger because of having to go against authority. So so much. What do you think? And who's next? Just finished watching the episode which is Agony from the Owl House and we need to talk about it. Spoilers ahead. Ida and Lilith just went head to head and it was incredible. This plotline was just slowly building itself all throughout the season. The tension, the fights, the grudge be match between them. And then all that anger just spilled over and Ida told Lilith the truth that she can't even best Ida at her worst. Was anyone else screaming at the part? And I can't believe I didn't see it coming that Lilith was the reason for the curse. It all makes sense. Of course it was Lilith. Of course that's why she's so desperate to get Ida to join the coven. That guilt must have been just eating through Lilith's soul. Thankfully, Lilith does 180 at the end and I'm so excited to see where her story goes in season two. Who's next? Asura from the Owl House is a fictional character in apparently the human world and the Boiling Isles, which I find really interesting that both Amity and Luce have both read the books about Asura, each in their own worlds prior to meeting each other. But I guess it makes sense because it seems that things from the Boiling Isles leak into the human world and sometimes human things leak into the Boiling Isles, I think? But it does make me wonder if the author Mildred Featherwile is a writer in the human world or if she 
she's actually a witch in the Boiling Isles. In my art take on her, I wanted to add her staff in somehow, so I kind of drew it like she's holding it in front of her face, but I don't know if it looks weird given its odd placement. I also relate to how Luz has her own original character based upon a matchup between her and Azura, because I absolutely did those things too with shows like Sailor Moon. So who's next? 